After a year of putting on fundraising and awareness raising activities at the castle, the Board of Trustees has been reviewing its activities and undertaking a cost-benefit analysis. On the plus side, the activities have showcased the possibilities of using the castle, have raised us some essential funds to keep operational and have been enjoyed by all who have attended. They've also helped us to identify our committed volunteers, who are in fact a relatively small band of people. What has become clear, however, is that the benefits at present are outweighed by the costs, especially in terms of volunteer time. We realise that we've allowed the enthusiasm of those who love the building and can see its potential to set us off on roads that we're not yet fully enough equipped to travel. With hindsight, we should have concentrated our efforts on building a much more substantial volunteer workforce and publicity machine before trying to put on regular concerts and events. This would have ensured that the events could take place successfully without taking the time of those people who should be concentrating on building the infrastructure. We've decided that for the time being, we'll suspend concerts and similar activities at the castle until we've built the volunteer force we need. We're hoping that more people will undertake off-site fundraising activities for us while we spend more time spreading the word. It's not all bad news though. We've learned much about the limitations of using a building over which we yet have no jurisdiction, about the realities of reaching a wide public when it comes to selling tickets, and about the attention to detail required to ensure not only a successful event, but compliance in terms of our duties of care and prudence. Our big challenge now is to manage the disappointment and expectations of those who are desperate to see this wonderful place vibrating with activity while we ask them to be patient.